just about ready to roll. And starting this one, Jose Urania. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. All right, ready to get underway. Now it's the DH, Yandy Diaz. That one to first, low. A flip to the pitcher covering, and a quick out number one. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. A very athletic offensive group with speed spread throughout this offense. Yeah, and it's so important that they have patient and quality at bats because the key is to get on base. If they do that, then they can create a whole lot of havoc on the base pass, get guys around to score, and then that's going to get you some good pitches to hit as well. So a very athletic team. We should be in for a treat in this one. It's not the standard approach that we see in today's game, but it does work for them offensively. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. That one the other way, and a base hit. Lead runner around second, and they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Isaac Paredes now. The pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. Way back there into the corner, but foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. 2-2 on the way. Kick swing, now we'll look down to first. No swing, just held it back there. And a pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. In there safely. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And now it's Jose Siri. The pitch. And a big swing and a miss. At this point, the clean inning is over. Got to settle in, focus on the hitter, and get out of it with minimal damage. Two on, one out. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Roll to short, possible two ball. There's one. Adelo, it's a double play. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're dialed into the show. Back in Arlington and towing the slab, Taj Bradley. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Brooke, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy's strikeout per nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Here's a 1-1. And there's a ball. Pitch misses, and the count is three and one.
Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast. His 12th of the season, and we're all square. It's 1-1. That's a game changer right there. A big time swing and we're all tied up. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Josh Smith, the next to hit. Swing and a ball popped up. Walls has a beat on it. Makes the grab, one down. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Bounce to the left side. Throws across the diamond, and there are two outs. Batting four. The right fielder. Adoles. Two outs, bases empty. At the play, Adolis Garcia. The wide to kick the pitch. On the corner for a strike. Two outs, bases empty. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and fires. That's hard hit in the line. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. All even now at 1-1. One, one. Top of the second and stepping in for the Rays, Johnny DeLuca. The 1-1. Gets him to chase after that one. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Got him swinging. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. So up next, Jose Caballero. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Batting it. The shortstop. Taylor, Taylor Walls Wall. next to hit for the Rays. Hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. Rays held in check here. Score remains deadlocked at one. Bottom of the second. Now, Wyatt Langford. No left fielder. The wind in the pitch. Down the line. DeLuca sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's one down. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play, and it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. That one fouled off.
Left hand hitter waits. In the air, right field. DeLuca settles under it and makes the catch. And there are two outs. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now it's going to be Derek Hill. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. And the Rangers set down in order. Score remains tied 1-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now, number 28. 28, Alex Jackson. Here's a 1 1. That's a ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off speed pitch. Three ball. And One another three. ball. Check swing, but he went too far. And now three and two. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the righty deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. That's towards center on the move and makes the grab one down Yadi Diaz now one out base is empty down the line this one hammered but it's foul clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball nice job just couldn't keep it fair ground ball left side and that's just foul the line of the pitch and he grounds one back up the middle sneaks through base hit so a man aboard now with one away couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now it's Randy Rosarena. And a pitch. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Lifts it from the ground. That's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Well, this is obviously a tremendous play, but for me, it starts with a well-broken-in glove. To have the confidence to go down, knowing that ball's going to be right in the pocket, so you've got a clean transfer, pop back up to the feet, and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Two outs. But Rosarena on the move. And that one hammered. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. This is a tough play for the offense to stomach. I mean, they did everything right, but the automatic double just ruined the hit and run. The runner had a great jump from first, and at the plate, really good contact. Just a little bit of bad luck robbing of a run. Next to bat will be the Rays' four-hitter, Isaac Paredes. That's to third. In plenty of time to first. That ends the frame. So the Rays strand a pair. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. Back at Globe Life Field, and now the catcher comes up to him, Andrew Kisner. And that one is inside. And a foul ball. Oh. 
in the air out towards right center. DeLuca settles under this one, brings it in, and there's one down. Batting done. The third baseman. Next to hit, Davis Wenzel. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here is Marcus Simeon. Chases the changeup in the dirt. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. We played three full innings, and we're tied at one. And we're back as we go to the top of the fourth. Now up for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And now two balls and a strike. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Go ahead, run on base. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Johnny DeLuca. Siri on at first. Nobody out. Rudder takes off. It's a pitch out. Throw there. Safe. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Man, it's second. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. What a stop! And very nicely done for the effort. First of all, that's a great diving stop to keep the ball on the infield. Then he's able to get up and get an out. He also keeps that runner from advancing any further. If that ball gets through, the complexion of this inning could be drastically different. Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Runner from third into score. It's 2-1. Big RBI for him right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. Urania throws the first, and he's back in safely. And he deals. Run around the move. Strike in there. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the scoring position. And here it comes. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. 
And here's the catcher. And now it's one and two. And another ball. Runner at second, two down. Top half of inning number four. Three ball. Squirts away a little bit. He's in there. And on the wild pitch, he goes down to third. Have to be really sure you can make it safely to third when you're in scoring position and two outs. Got to get that run across. Very important. Does a nice job of reading it. Gets to third base now just 90 feet away. Two outs. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Jose Ureña won't go any further tonight. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Michael Lorenzen just trying to keep this one close here and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game back to the top of the lineup and now the DH Yandy Diaz you have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches even in an 0-0 count he loves going after the off-speed stuff and he's really good at hitting it and that's down and away. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. Smash to center. Way back, and you can forget it. Home run. He'll take a trot around the bases. And they tack on to their lead. It's 5-1. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments. And right there, made a statement big time. really impressive how he's able to take an outside fastball get around it and hit it with authority to the pull side most guys are popping up weakly to the opposite field so two down Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays 3-1 is on the way there's a strike 95 of that one Side and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Wouldn't chase that time. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now, back in a 2 2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. That one missed. 3-2, two, okay. two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Isaac Paredes up next for the Rays. Lorenzen checks over to first, and he's back. Ground ball up the middle, and that chance handled. Tosses to first. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now a 5-1 ball game.
Back in Arlington, bottom of the fourth, and now the shortstop, Josh Smith. In the air, left field, and that is a foul ball. That's a laser base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Man at first. Now it's Robbie Grossman. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Smith gets his lead at first with nobody out. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Now here is Adolis Garcia, Rosario. The throw to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. We go to the top of the fifth, leading off Isaac Paredes. Strike two. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And a pinch. A swing and a soft liner. And out number one on the grab. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. So digging in, Jose Siri. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Headed down the line. Garcia really on his horse for this one. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. One down. Base is empty. Two and two. And that one at 95 missed up top. And now it's three and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The right fielder, number 21. Two outs, base is empty. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Johnny DeLuca. That missed by a lot. And a count is three and one. And that one fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Stays alive. Oh. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for Tampa. They're up 5-1. Bottom of 
bottom of the inning. Now the left fielder, Wyatt Langford. The left fielder. And the pitch. And that one sliced foul. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle. Slings to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Left hand batter waits. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Outside. It's two and two. The Rays leading by four, last half of inning number five. Ground ball right side, and he grabs it, foul. Here's a 2-2. Popped up. Rosario in position. They got it for out number two. Up next for the Rangers, the center fielder. Derek. Next up for Texas, Derek Hill. The pitch. And another ball. Right through there for a strike. And now two and two. Now this is in the air down the line. And that will drop foul. Two down, nobody on. That misses. And a full count now. Gets a piece. And stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at-bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at-bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So, man aboard. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Andrew Kisner. Two outs. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Ryan Pepio preparing to come on if needed. Clevenger also getting ready. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. Hill off of first with two away. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. And it drops in. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Oh, this ball is crushed in the left field. It's on its way and gone. A massive home run. His second of the year, it's 5-4. That one just sounded different. Man, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth.
That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The 1-1. One -one. And there's a foul ball. Missed with a changeup, and the count is two, even two. two and two. Three Just balls. off the outside part of the plate. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. And he grounds one to the right side. Caballero. Fires over to first. That's the inning. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Jose LeClaire. And he's been fantastic this year. Really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. Well, one we run game. Jose Caballero digs in now. Jose we talk about Caballero. guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And in foul ground, he pulls it down. One out. Up next to Tampa Bay. The shortstop, Taylor Wall. Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, that's a blue zone right there or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. The next pitch misses, and it's 2-1. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Andrew Heaney, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Hernandez, the right-hander, also getting loose. Out to short. Over to low. Rays retired in order. Nothing doing for the offense that time. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rays five and the Rangers four. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Ryan Pepio. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. And now Josh Smith. Not shortstop. Two one now. That one ran inside, almost got him. Next offering is in for a strike. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. No outs. Runner at first. So next to hit for Texas, Robbie Grossman. At the belt and fires. And a sack run here. 
Paredes. Goes to second. Oh, safe there. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. Sometimes you can get a little too aggressive trying to cut off that lead run and try to make something happen that really isn't there. Got to take that sure out at first base. Not sure what happened right there in terms of communication. First and second. No outs. Adolis Garcia will hit next. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Action in the pen down there. Phil Maton up and loosening in the pen. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Smith, the lead runner at second. Grossman out at first with nobody out. And a swing and a miss. And that is a big first out. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Here's the left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. Just missed. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Runners at first and second with one gone. No. And a good eye there. Good to lay off that pitch down. Nathaniel Lowe up next. Two on, one out. And they're all loaded up. Wow, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Now on the bump, Garrett Clevenger. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. So bases loaded with one away. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Outside low, and it's 2-2. Two two. Go ahead, run at second here in the bottom of the sixth. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strike out there. Derek Hill stepping in for the Rangers. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. To third. And it gets by him. One runs in. The throw home. Save. And it's 6-5. Oh, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. Just one of those seam high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. First and second, two outs. Here's Andrew Kisner. Two on, two outs. And ball. another ball. Two and one. Two outs. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And now the lefty. Oh. And that's outside. Three ball. Full count three and two. Davis Wenzel would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. 
swing and a miss, and he struck him out. They limit the damage here. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We're through six full. It's the Rangers six, the Rays five. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jonathan Hernandez. And he's had a struggle so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. So the Rays batting order turns over. And here is Yandy Diaz. Looking to get the tying run on base. Right through there for a strike. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And stepping in for the Rays, Randy Arozarena. Finish him off. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting him straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's on fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. Stepping in, Ahmed Rosario. The two on. That's a little bit low. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. Raised down by a run. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that right there could end up being a big walk in this game. He's certainly a threat on the bases, especially with them looking to tie this thing up. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. Fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That's got a chance. And it hits the top of the wall. Around third. He'll score in the top. 6 6. Picks himself up an RBI. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside. Saw it deep into the zone and just barreled it up. Went the other way for the knock. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Second here with two away. And now Jose Siri. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That's inside. Two balls. One strike. That one out to right. Garcia settles under it. He's got it, and that's the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And we're all even now at six apiece. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Phil Maton. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Tied at six. Davis Wenzel stepping in for the Rangers. On its way to the corner, DeLuca on the move. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. Number two, second baseman. Marcus. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. One down, base is empty. 
Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. On a line, base hit. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. Everything came together for him. I love that swing, and I'm sure his hitting coach does even more. Took a pitch right on the low outside corner of the zone and just ripped it for a base hit. And that's easier said than done. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Man at first with one gone. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. Good eye on that spot. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Here's a 2 1. Runner on the go. And that one fouled off. One away. Tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And the pitch. Line drive, that's a base hit. And a go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Up next for the Rangers, Robbie Grossman. Next offering is in for a strike. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. And now two and two. down and in this part of the game you cannot issue free passes he's going to have to challenge this hitter hitter's got to be ready to swing it Adolis Garcia waiting to hit for the Rangers two on one out this to center field Walls sizing this one up Walls grabs it on the run that's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. So first and second with two outs. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. The pitch. And that skips into there. With the go-ahead run standing at second here, the bottom of the seven. Wouldn't chase that time. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And the right hater deals. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Two on, two outs. Well hit the other way. That one going back and foul. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Ripped on a line. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that ends the inning. Rangers leave a pair. So we're still tied at six. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Andrew Heaney. He's Andrew. averaging more than one hit allowed per Heaney. inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. Now it's the right fielder, Johnny DeLuca. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. 
And a count one and two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. And the batter now, Jose Caballero. <laughs> Fouls it off, still one and two. The lefty fires. And another ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. David Robertson up and throwing. Lats warming up as well. Next pitch misses way outside. Taylor Walls in the on-deck circle. All tied up, and we're in the top of the eighth. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. One down, runner at first. Here's the shortstop at the play. Taylor Walls. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's the catcher. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. This one in the air, center field. Hill under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. One left for Tampa. This game remains tied at six. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Sean Armstrong. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Tied at six. Now here is Wyatt Lankford. The pitch. Fly ball down the line. And that's a foul ball. One and two now. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Foul ball still, one and two count. Kicks and fires. Popped up. Moving under this one. Puts it away for the out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Left-hand hitter waits. High fly ball out to center field. Drops into the glove, and that quickly two away. Now a pinch hitter coming on for the Rangers. Corey Seager. Big at bat here, so looking for a better matchup with a left-handed bat. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. 